With second place nailed down and Champions League qualification secure, Schalke could play with freedom. Leon Goretzka was making his farewell appearance after five years as a Royal Blue. He'll be coached at his new club Bayern by Niko Kovac, who is looking to secure Europa League qualification. Frankfurt had lost their last six away games in the league, but they made the first big chance on ten minutes. Mijak Kacinovic's improvisation drew a fine save from Ralf Fairman. The Schalke skipper excelling against the club he used to play for. On 12 minutes, there was a big scare for the visitors. Weston McKenney's dangerous run into the box, brought to an end by Carlos Salcedo. Referee Frank Villenborg decided that challenge wasn't worthy of a penalty. Schalke have proved adept at set pieces this season. They struck again on 26 minutes. Guido Borgstaller latching on to Daniel Caligiuri's pinpoint delivery. This was the Austrians' 11th Bundesliga goal of the season. 1-0 at half-time, Kovac's anxiety was growing. No such worries for Schalke chairman Clemens Turnis. After the break, Schalke were a constant threat on the counter. On 67 minutes, Burgstaller raced clear and teed up Caligiuri. On his final Bundesliga appearance as a Frankfurt player, Lukas Radetzky came to the rescue. As news of Stuttgart's prospective win at Bayern filtered through, Frankfurt up the tempo. On 77 minutes, Ante Rebic's fierce drive drew a superb save from half-time substitute Alexander Neuber. This was the 21-year-old's first Bundesliga appearance of the season. Kovac's men knew that they needed two goals to secure a victory, and they kept up the pressure. This corner finding its way to Danny Da Costa. But when his big moment arrived, he failed to make the most of it. Frankfurt know they must now win the DFB Cup final against Bayern if they want to qualify for Europe. As for Goretzka, he was able to sign off in style. Freiburg went into their final match knowing a draw would be enough to avoid the relegation playoff plays. Christian Streich's team faced an Augsburg side who'd made sure of their survival a few weeks ago and Freiburg needing Niels Petersen's goals more than ever. It was a well-balanced opening phase, Freiburg really cautious and understandably so, as they had more to lose. The first chance fell to the visitors when Marco Richter muscled his way through, laid the ball on to Jonathan Schmid, but his effort was well saved by Alex Schwolo. Jonathan Schmid, who'd spent seven years at Freiburg, almost breaking the deadlock. Freiburg had plenty of possession, but not in dangerous areas. Their first real opportunity came from a free kick in the 39th minute, when a header by Manuel Golder was well saved by Andres Luther. Luther given the chance to prove himself with Marvin Hitz having played his last game for the club. No goals at half-time, but Freiburg were halfway towards Bundesliga safety at this point. Chances had been hard to come by for Freiburg. They knew they had to raise their game in the second half, and they certainly did. With Augsburg retreating, Yannick Haberer combined really well with Niels Peterson, who got a rear touch in the box in spite of the close attention of the Augsburg defenders. Haberer heavily involved in the build-up, and his second cross was then met by Nikolaus Höfler, who put Freiburg 1-0 up. Höfler hadn't scored for 54 games, and he couldn't have chosen a more important match to get on the score sheet. Freiburg had never lost a game at home once they'd taken the lead and after scoring they certainly looked full of confidence and when Sergio Cordova conceded possession to put Tim Kleindienst through Kleindienst scored his second goal of the season a goal which surely meant Bundesliga survival for Freiburg the release of emotions was something you could really feel in the Black Forest Stadium Survival is what Freiburg aimed for every season relief for the players and Christian Streich who made sure his side remained in the top flight for yet another season.